the time In the darkness with the light Tell the devil that he's alive And even when I'm in the waiting In all of my broken places Give me faith for I am faithful And I will not be afraid no, I'll be okay Hello everyone, welcome back I know it's been a while since I've put anything up It's not because I have forgotten anyone and it's not because I have went backwards in my faith but it's just much time that I've needed I I was posting a lot of videos and I was really going through a lot and it, it was hard um I'm doing really well though everything's going good um, Kylie's getting so big, you guys. She just turned 10, 10 years old. It blows my mind how fast kids grow up. It, it's crazy. But other than that, I have been going to work and working my little booty off. You know, just everyday life things. We're not required to have the vaccination at this point. And I will not be getting the vaccination at all. I I understand that it may not be the mark of the beast, but I don't trust it. And I'm not letting them inject something into my body that I don't trust. And to be quite honest, I do not trust any of the vaccinations anymore. I'm even I won't even get my flu vaccine because I just feel like it's so close to Jesus coming. I know we've been saying this for a while, you guys, but it is close. Even if he came in two years, that's still intimate. That only gives us a little bit of time to get other people saved. But yeah, I mean, looking at the world the way it is right now is insane. Texas is going through a lot. They have gotten weather that hasn't been, I mean, like it's making history and and it's sad. So many families are going without electricity, literally freezing. Um, it's, I don't even know what to say or how to begin to express to you how much I hurt for them. And then we've also recently learned that Pastor Tim Henderson's wife has passed away. And man, I know everyone loved Karen so much. She was definitely a blessing to be able to know and to be able to watch her on, you know, YouTube. And I just pray that Pastor Tim makes it through this time and knows that Jesus loves him and that he didn't take Karen to hurt him. It, he took Karen because she was needed more in heaven. Although we have lo have losses and and we hurt and we grieve, those losses of loved ones that are saved are gaining so much more than we could ever imagine on this earth. So I know she's up there in heaven right now cheering all of us on, getting, you know, things ready for this big event that's about to take place. And it's in the middle of so much love and joy that I couldn't imagine that we would never be able to know until we get there. So I know that she is carrying on in heaven, worshiping Jesus and cheering everyone on to the finish line. It just goes to show we really do have, our days are numbered and we all have a time to be born and we all have a time to die. So, Loss is loss and loss hurts. But like I said, the, the ones we've lost that died in Christ have gained so much. And they're waiting for us. So, Pastor Tim, I love you. And I'm cheering you on. And I'm praying for your family and your kids and your grandkids that you get through this loss with the warmth of, you know, Jesus' arms around you. He loves you and he loved Karen. That was his child. And 
he needed her more in heaven at this point than we did here on earth. I can't imagine what she's seeing, though. It's got to be insanely beautiful. I couldn't imagine how much love she's feeling and the praise that she's able to give our Savior. She can reach out and touch him. Tell me that's not mind-blowing. She can reach out and touch him. I just, it's just an amazing thought. So, yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on how I was doing. I'm doing absolutely wonderful. My kids are doing great. And again, I've just been working a lot. But I still stand firm in my faith in Jesus. I know that everything good that happens comes from him. And the love I carry in my heart for mankind alone is part of the love that we received from Jesus, from God being created in his image. So we just have to keep trying. We have to keep pushing because we're almost to the finish line. I, I just can't believe it. Every day, Jesus is showing us more and more proving to us that his existence is real and that his return is imminent. And I can't wait for that day. I can't wait for that day. The pain and grief and hurt that we have to endure here on this world will be gone. We will be made whole. We will be like Christ. And that will be an amazing, amazing thing. Jesus is coming. That's plain to see. That's very clear. And I believe it's going to be any day. So it's really time to really start getting ready because I just, I get mind blown every single day because something new occurs. And I know it's part of of the Lord showing us that he's coming soon. And I just, I can't wait. So anyway, how are you guys? Let me know how you guys have been doing. Just leave me a comment. I've missed making videos a lot. But I've been through a lot this past couple years. And... And it's been hard to say the least, but I know God's in control and I know that he is here for me through my struggles and trials as long as I want him to be. And he loves us. He loves you so much and he wants you to want him, to have faith in him, to, to praise him and pray just like my sign. First Thessalonians, what is it? 517, pray without ceasing. But anyway, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and jump off of here. I just wanted to update that I'm doing great. I have been working. I've been home and just living life and praising God. So anyway, have a great night. I love you all so much and I will see you soon. Bye.